the stochastic RSI indicator, is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and execute it on the chart. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how the indicator works and has been used. From the navigator section, we select the indicator file and execute the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to pay attention to activate the Allow DLL Imports option from the Complete section, and then click the OK option. When the indicator is activated on the chart, an oscillator window opens for us, where the blue line is the RSI line, and the red line is the stochastic line. Traders can use the points where the RSI line crosses the stochastic line upwards, as entry or exit points for trades, and at the points where the RSI line crosses the stochastic line downwards. They can also be used as entry or exit points for trades in the settings section. In this section, there are options available for us, where the first part relates to the period settings for stochastic, the period settings for de-stochastic, the period settings for RSI, the period settings for stochastic, and the type of RSI calculation based on closing price, opening price, highest price, lowest price, and other factors that they can select from this section. The last section pertains to the theme or custom template of the indicator, which has four parts, auto, light, dark, and custom. By selecting the auto option, only the colors of the candles change, with profitable candles turning bright green and bearish candles turning bright red. By selecting the light option, a light template is applied to the chart. The next option is the dark template, which selects a dark template for you. The last section is the custom template, which retains your personalized template and only executes the indicator for the chart. I will select the dark template here and then click on Confirm. As you can see on my chart, the dark template has been applied and the indicator is placed at the bottom of the chart. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.